explosive beat. Explosive beats. Good morning, welcome guys. Today we're on set of the Numero Uno video shoot. Uh, we're currently backstage with the makeup artists and the dancers. So let's ask some questions. See you, Rose. And you. Yeah. What's the camera Hello. Oh yeah. Your name is? Charlie. How you doing, Charlie? And what do you I'm do? Good. Thank you. I'm a dancer. Okay. <laughs> nice to meet you, Charlie. <laughs> and your name is? Hello. Hello. <laughs> I'm Jess. Oh, that's nice, Jess. And what do you do? Uh, I'm a dancer. Okay, okay. Thank you. And your name is? Georgina. Hello, Georgina. Hi. And you are? A dancer. Okay, okay. <laughs> Hello. Hiya. You are? Alexandria. Alexandria. Not Alex for short, no? You can call me whatever you want. Wow. <laughs> That's nice. Nice meeting you. Yeah. And you are? Hello, I'm Kirsty. Hello, Kirsty. Hello. And you are? I'm a dancer as well. Very nice to meet you. Very nice to meet you. Welcome to the team. And you are? And you are? Is this, is this your establishment? Yeah, kind of. Thank you for the, um, the, the help. The choreographer, yeah, this is the choreographer, uh, Toffee. Hopefully, like, choreography, Yeah, okay, 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 we got ya. I found it really daunting at first because everybody's so much younger than me, and I, I went in and was like, oh god, I'm not going to be able to do this, but I loved it and picked it up. Like, wow, so it's quite 24 years of dancing with that experience. Yeah, yeah, 
how long did it take us to pick up the actual routine? Uh, we did it about, an, we, we learned about, in an, about an hour, hour and yeah. then about an hour to practice and then we all went away and practiced it and then when we come back for the second rehearsal we all had it yeah, on. We had to polish it all, yeah. make sure we're all in unison. Yeah. That's really good. That's really good. My name's Rose Davy. I go to the BOI Academy, BOI Performing Arts School in Birmingham City Centre and um, I've been dancing for about 14 or 15 years now. Okay, cool. And how old are you? I'm 17. 17. Yeah. Okay, Andrea? Hello, yeah, I'm Jess. I'm 17 years old. I've been dancing for solid three, so 14 years at um, Spotlight Stage 2, which is like a place in Pennsylvania. And is this the first professional uh, video shoot that both of you guys are doing, or have you done work like this before? I've never done work like this before. I've been asked to do it, but haven't, <laughs> haven't accepted. But this one, uh, it's been a good experience. Okay, that's cool. And how about yourself? I've done like I've done like other music videos and like film shoots as well, but this is like the biggest one I've done. Also, um, you know the actual choreography, the routine. How did you find that? Well, there was a different style to what like I usually do. I'm more of a like a theatre dancer, like ballet, tap, mother. Right. But I've really enjoyed it. Like it took quite a bit to get into it, but once I got into it, I was fine. Right. So. And how long did it take to learn the actual routine? Um, I think we learned it in an hour, and then we ran over it in an hour. That was the first session, right. and then after that, we went off and practiced practicing by ourselves, and then we just really practiced for another hour. Oh, yeah. Do you guys normally dance together or? No, we've never met before. Like, so, was it a case of everyone just interviewed? I'm oh, sorry, audition? Yeah, we yeah. auditioned and then we just got, we got to know each other after we worked together. Yeah. Okay. Form the bond. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> wicked, wicked. Right, ladies, thank you for your time. This one is exclusive. debut single and obviously we're here in the hospital scene, I'm in the hospital mode and uh, we're shooting the first scene of our debut single Numero Uno where we're going to um, really go in and show people what we're made of as DJs and as producers you know I mean? we've got to say big shout out to, that, to Silver Fox for the beat and the whole team have helped put it together Danny Alexander Films and of course our team Beat Mercenaries and I hope that you enjoy it as much as we enjoy it. Hey people, welcome to Beat Mercenaries. Video, video one. Cash Rex, DJ Cash Rex. There's my partner over there, DJ Faris Walker. And today, we will be changing history, folks, and making history, and with the beautiful Alice. I am the model for this video and I am also the fire breather and a grinder for later on and this is just before she goes on to a very uncomfortable hospital bed. My job sucks. Okay, ready and action, let's go. go. Again, that smile on your face. <laughs> 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 I don't think it's really looking good, this man. Walking when you're ready, sir. You can't be Hey, no, 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 to save this woman, we have to make a duplex <laughs> context. <laughs> 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 I was listening back to you. <laughs> 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 How long 
Kenny go? With me yeah. talking bullshit. <laughs> And you saw, you saw his face. He's gonna go, he's gonna go. Yeah, I forgot that because even I was like. <laughs> oh, wow. Good, like, See, at least you're gonna get like, angry. Like, yeah. you're, gonna, you're gonna get the angry one. You're, yeah. you're angry one. Oh, you you're, nice you're, you're upset. upset. I think you still need to come in. That's your girlfriend, you're upset. Well, yeah. oh, try, try and come so right in up to us, you know? Yeah. So if he can, really, he can push <laughs> you back, kind of. Thing. Three, two, Open your eyes and look at the camera again. Dance done. All right. Is this your actual first dance track or have there been? It's one of the first. One of the first. It's one of the first yeah. And how do you find producing dance? Do you find it quite different to hip hop or? It's different. I don't know. It's a bit more easier. Okay. It's a bit more easier still. Okay. Yeah. okay. So um, with regards to the track that we're currently shooting the video for the Mara or not. Plugging it, plugging it. <laughs> <laughs> um, what was your inspiration behind that track? When did you, you know, grab the ideas in the film from for that? I, don't, I like the producers that are making uh, like house and dance, like uh, noisier. Yeah. So, uh, but I've been, I've been going out as well. And then, you know when you go out on like, nights and then you just hear the dance music in it? Yeah. I suppose that's pretty much like inspiration there as well. This, this, this one's explosive.
is explosive. Yes. I'm not going to act like we don't know each other. Because we do. Well. Yes. Yes, we have. Yeah. For those who don't know you, yeah. you'd just like to introduce yourself. Okay, my uh, name is Cash Rex. I'm a songwriter with the Beat Mercenaries. I'm also an exec with uh, the record label Explosive Beats. And um, people are going to be hearing and feeling and dancing to my songs in 2014, I believe. Right, and if you could explain for us a little bit more in depth here in Baltimore. Yeah. Okay, well, um, it's a label that uh, myself and uh, my partner DJ Paris Walker we started um, because we felt, you know, this is an area that we want to move into now. It's an area that we understand. Um, and, you know, it's, very, it's always very, very difficult trying to get your music onto other labels. So instead of even going down that road, we said, let's do it ourselves, let's start our own label. We've been in the music game so many years that we've gained so much knowledge, we can do this ourselves. And uh, here we are. So, like I say, I am an exec uh, in the label, but I'm also, you know, songwriter, producer, you name it, I'm in it. Okay, we'll touch, we'll go back on your songwriting. Okay, you know, with the because that's the main thing. It is most <laughs> um, I just want you to kind of explain to those who already know you. Yeah. Obviously they're used to you, you know, working with the hip hop genre. That's right. If you could just divulge a little bit on your motivation into yeah. going down the dance. Right. Yeah, it, it, it strictly, um, I mean, it really just came about through uh, uh, like a need for, yeah, like, everyone knows I've always uh, been a writer right. and I've written like R&B songs and, and that kind of thing in the past for singers. Um, so it was just kind of a natural pro progression really for me to you know write for dance um, uh, singers who sing to, for trance right, sing okay. trance and stuff um, and at first for me it was like you know strange but it, at the same time it, you know it was something to try and achieve you know it was a challenge for me so I'm always open to a great challenge because it, it forces me to do better and to really push myself and I just discovered that actually I'm really good at this. <laughs> he is. So, uh, <laughs> okay. That's right. So, okay, I think so that's would you say that you find writing for the dance easier, harder, or just different? I really find it easier, and, it, and, and that's not to diss the theme or the genre or anything. Like, you know, it's really easy to do. But I mean, I find it easier because there are no rules, there are no restrictions, and you're, you're very, very free to go ahead and write how you want to write and to really dream a lot more. You know, a lot of, a lot of other musics are kind of caught in swag and a bit too stylized. Trance isn't like that, it's very open, it's very free. You can, you can really dream with your lyrics and really go places. And that's why for me, as, as someone who really wants to really write and really go there and send, let a singer really go to a different place, it's actually easier to do that. Yeah. 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 The dance music. That's right, okay. yeah. That's right. Right. Okay. There's a lot more freedom. Yeah. Yeah. Shall, we, shall, we, shall, we, shall we talk about me and you doing stuff together? Because cool. we're going to do, we're going to work on some, you like one of my songs That's at the moment. That's right, yeah, that is right. And, um, which, I mean, Karina is someone who wouldn't sing anybody else's song. I mean, she can just write all her own songs, and yet this song that I wrote, she's really feeling it. And she said she wants to sing the song, and that's a first for her, and I'm really touched by that. So, oh, bless him, you know, that say. he hasn't hit the nail on the head with this particular track. It's, you'd <laughs> think he's been writing dance music for years. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm more than happy to sing that, actually. I'm quite privileged. I'm quite privileged Thank you. I'm privileged that you want to sing it, I really am. Yeah. You're always a singer that I've always admired throughout the years, and so I'm glad that you want to do it. This is a great song. <laughs> Okay, Cash Rex, thanks for your time. You're very welcome. I know you're very busy today, so yeah. I appreciate you taking the time out to speak to me. You're very welcome. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> Bye. This, this, this one's explosive. Back towards where you were standing before. Over there in the middle, sorry. 
longer. Hand on your head, you can't believe what's going on. And then turning around so you're facing that way, properly looking. There you go, kind of stand in front of the light a little bit so you're blocking it some more. Okay, and then you're going to turn back around and walk off camera. And cut. This, this, this one's explosive. Hello. Hi there, hi there. Right, thanks for taking a little time out to come and speak to me. Yes, no us problem. Today. Um, if you just like to explain to our viewers who you are, what you do. Um, I started the label in Explosive Beats and also a member of the Beat Mercenaries production DJ crew. And basically, we're gearing ourselves towards electronic dance, music, EDM, as they say. And we're going to cater for different genres of dance music, electro, electro house, deep house, drum and bass even, and obviously progressive house and trance music. Okay. So sort of we want to widen our appeal to, we would really focus solely on hip hop before. Right. And not that we're never going to do hip hop again, but we more want to widen our scope to get the audience to sort of recognise us as musicians more than just being hip hop DJs. So, I mean. I see, I see, I see. And obviously we're on set of the new video shoot yeah. today. Um, if you'd like to break down again for all, just what's going to take place today, how it's gone. Basically the story for Numero, you know, is um, one where a girl is caught in the state of a trance when it comes to um, the music that she's been listening to. Obviously the beat mercenaries track. And, um, we play the doctors where we try to revive her and um, we can't quite revive her without the help of her boyfriend who comes in to the hospital shocked to see that his girlfriend is lying on the, the actual um, bed out cold in this trance and then we hook him up through some technology and then basically he delves into her mind to try and rescue her through her mind but the only twist of it is that we don't actually get, get to see them coming back Oh, so it's a bit of a cliffhanger. So it's, it's, it's a bit of a cliffhanger. Oh, okay, that's and then good. even in, within the, the dream, the dance sequence, the lead dancer <laughs> has a um, tiff with the lead actress right. Right, to continue it on to Swordmaster, which is another video of coming. Oh, so there's a, there's be a part two. So there's a, Swordmaster literally is the part two, which will be the next video. Okay, look forward. So that's what we're, we're, build, we're building, like, trying to build like a soul opera type of dance thing so that people sort of follow our story as we not just as, as far as our releases are concerned but as as, as DJs because we want to be touring and going playing various clubs around the world so that's what we're going to do Great. and any messages artists producers anyone that's trying to break into the game message 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 to any artist or any producer or anybody trying to get into the business work hard, get to give your product, approach it as if it's a business, it's not just an art form, it's a business and you have to be successful on the business side to be successful and don't ever give up. Wise words from Alex, take you. Cool. <laughs>
and you can even be reassuring enough it's gonna be okay. So you'll be looking at them, but then you'll be looking back at looking back at Elise as well. Yeah. Let me just get this lined up. Well she's still unconscious. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, well, that's it. We're the, we're the end, the end of, um, of the shot. My director here, Mr. Daniel Alexander, you know what I mean? The High Williams of Bromtown, like Birmingham. You know the talk, you know what I mean? So, <laughs> this one's explosive. Explosive beats.